we are assembled here today to pay final respects to our honored dead. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing the honored dead being killed in the most disrespectful way possible. The doctor that we've all known and loved throughout the years has been torn down in so many disrespectful ways. Pronoun corrections, uh, being cor also told that he was better off as a woman in that because he's not a woman anymore. He just doesn't understand and he's not as smart. This is just so disrespectful on so many levels. So really, what other conclusion can we come to except to say that the doctor is dead? Have you been telling people I'm dead? For many fans, they believe this so is exactly what happened. The doctor is dead. I think for a lot of people, this scene right here is probably the last straw. A by regeneration is, or excuse me, by generation is what a lot of people are calling this. Since that's what the supposed 15th doctor called this. Under the 15th doctor, I've got a question. Is he really the 15th doctor? And yes, I know technically he is the 15th, but the problem that I have is regarding regeneration for not just Doctor Who here, but the Time Lords in general. Whenever one Time Lord's body gets damaged to a point that the cells die, the body repairs itself by regenerating a whole new person, or in this case, a whole new doctor. And that is what supposedly is supposed to happen here, but it doesn't. The regeneration process starts and then is halted. He never, the 14th doctor, never dies. He never dies and regenerates into the 15th. They split into two. So by him splitting into a completely different person, that doesn't mean there's a 15th doctor, does it? He's split in two. Doesn't that mean Dr. 14.5? I mean, he has all the same memories, yes, but the 14th Doctor is still alive. And the 15th is there too. So he can't be counted as the 15th, can he? I mean, again, 14 is still alive, 15 is standing right there, and they split apart. Doesn't that mean he's 14.5? Just, just something that I'm thinking about here because this doesn't make sense to me. And there's one other thing about this by generation that doesn't make sense at all. Okay, there's two other things that we need to talk about here regarding the two doctors. And this one in particular has to do with when they are in the TARDIS together and they're about to say goodbye. This part right here confuses the heck out of me. Off you pop, old man. Oh, you're the old man. You're older than me. <laughs> Actually, that is true. He's younger because you came after him, so you're the older doctor. Okay, kid. Okay, so this is where I'm confused with this, all right? We have the 14th doctor now saying, wait a minute, you're older than me. And Donna's even agreeing, that's true, you came off of him, you are older. Doesn't that work only if the 14th doctor has died off? He, the 15th, split from the 14th, which still makes the 14th the oldest one, doesn't it? The 15th is brand new. He's a completely new idea of what the doctor is. They even said it a while ago. How did that happen? By generation. <laughs> I have bi-generated. There's no such thing. Bi-generation is supposed to be a myth, but... So he bi-generated, which is supposed to be a myth, right? So if it was a myth and nobody knows anything about this type of regeneration, then why is he considered to be the older one? Right? Again, Donna said, oh, well, you came out of the 14th, so you're the older one. No, 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 no. The only reason that the one one or two, three, four, five gets older is because the one, the previous number died off, regenerated into the higher up one. There was no, re, there was no death. There was no regeneration. It was a split. The 14th doctor is the oldest doctor, at least the way I'm understanding all this. And this is some made up BS. 
And for those of you who are about to argue with me that the whole thing is made up, yes, I know. But in order for this person to become the older, he has to, the younger has to pass on. And the 14th did not. They split. And now let's talk about one final thing. You got a prize, honey. Here is mine. <laughs> what the hell am I looking at? I couldn't agree with you more. What the hell was I just looking at there? This is something right out of a Tex Avery cartoon, and that's not saying anything bad about Tex Avery. Those cartoons were fantastic. But this thing is so cartoonish, what they just did here, it's kind of embarrassing. It's a little funny, yeah, but at the same time, it's embarrassing. I feel like I'm watching a carnival performer right now. This thing, this is the dumbest thing that I have seen to come out of this thing so far. And if this is an example of what the new doctor has in store for us, if this is what Russell T. Davis is planning for the future of the doctor, well then, my friends, we're going to go right back to the beginning of this video with... We are assembled here today to pay final respects to our honored dead. Well, my friends, I really would love to know what you think about this. Was this everything you hoped it was, or was it the final curtain on the doctor? Are we paying our final respects to the honored dead? Or in this case, dishonored because of the way Doctor Who has been plummeting. Drop your comments below, my friends. Let me know, and until the next time, God bless.